For more than a year now, the City of Columbia has been going back and forth with short-term rental owners about rules and regulations around their properties. Tonight, a specific committee dedicated to regulating these properties made a step toward some sort of compromise. Here's Peyton Lewis. I uh, moved to Columbia 10 years ago. I used to live up the street, and every day I would drive by this house. It was boarded up. It needed work. It was dilapidated. And I said, you know, someone needs to buy that house. Eventually, you know, we, we ended up buying it. Noah Harris has spent the last year watching Columbia City Council's every move to make sure his family's business running an Airbnb can stay afloat. So my wife and I have a son. Uh, we have three boys. Our youngest, five years old, he's autistic. Staying at a hotel is just not an option for us. My wife and I do staycations here. In July of last year, Columbia City Council voted to create an ad hoc committee that would create ordinances for short-term rentals to keep them at bay. According to AirDNA, there are almost 700 short-term rentals available in Columbia alone. And City Councilman Howard Duvall believes they could be causing problems for residents. Thousands are being lost there, many thousands of dollars over the asking price that are intended to be used for short-term rentals. The proposed ordinance for short-term rentals requires owners to pay a $50 fee every year, a $100 permit registration, and $500 if the owner of the property does not intend to occupy the space while guests are there. The ordinance also proposes that the rentals have safety inspections, sprinkler systems, and be based in non-residential areas. Both Airbnb and Verbo rental owners say with these restrictions, they wouldn't be able to maintain their business. In the street that I have my Airbnb on, it's a quote unquote residential neighborhood, but there's two fourplexes and there's three duplexes on that street. How am I a worse actor than those people? Tuesday night's meeting concluded with the committee deciding to allow a local Airbnb manager to work with the county to create compromises and amendments to the proposed ordinance. Reporting in Columbia, Peyton Lewis, News 19, WLTX. Well, that committee is going to meet again next Wednesday, next Tuesday, I should say, at 4 o'clock to host public forums for neighbors of these short-term rentals to express their thoughts as well.